Hey, this is Mike with the SEO Alien, and I had a couple of customers ask me how to set up a um, another email address that they own at another domain name and add it to their Gmail account so they can send and receive uh, mail from their Gmail account with a different uh, uh, domain name email. For example, I created one here, Mike at MikeJBarnes.com in my Bluehost account, and now what I want to do is add it to my to my Gmail account. Well, it's not that difficult to do. You just have to know the steps. Well, let's assume that you've created your your uh, other email at whatever domain name you have. You can slide down the page, and after you've created it, you're going to see that email in your cPanel, and you can uh, go to Access Webmail. And when you access Webmail, you can log in to a few different accounts, but you need to be logged in here because Gmail is going to send you a confirmation code and you need to get that confirmation code. So let's go to the uh, Gmail account. So in here, this is my Gmail account, and I'm just going to click uh, Gmail at the top and go to my Gmail. And once you've logged in, on the right-hand side of the page, you're going to see a little gear, and that, that gear is going to have your settings in it. So right in here, you want to click that gear over here to the right and go to Settings. And then once you're in your settings, you'll see uh, across the top, there's a bunch of different uh, tabs. Well, you want to go to accounts. And in accounts, you want to go down here to see check mail from other accounts using POP3. So we're going to add a POP3 account that you own. So a little pop-up window comes in. And you're going to type in your the email address that you created and just go to next step. Now your username is going to be your complete email. So if you just put your email in here, there it is. All right. And then what you want to do is add the password that you created for yourself. And for the most part, you want to leave the, the settings alone here. Um, I would definitely check, leave a copy on your uh, of retrieve message on the server and label incoming messages. Those are the two I would check and then just go do add account. Okay, yes, I want to be able to send mail as Mike at MikeJBarnes.com. So we're going to go to next step. Yes, treat as an alias and just click next step. And then send through Gmail, easier to set up, click next step. And now you want to send a verification. All right, now there's two ways to do this. You can check your email in your, G in your uh, account. So I would go back to the email that I just created, and it'll send a message here to tell me of, there it is right here, there's a, there's a new email from the Gmail team. And what I'll do is I can just click, I can do two things. I can copy the code and paste the code in, or I can just click this link here. But just for this, ver uh, I'll do this. I'm going to copy the code, and I'm going to put it back into here and click Verify. And there it is. So now I have and it just added it right here. You're going to see Mike Barnes, Mike at MikeJBarnes.com. And now I can make it default or, or do any other thing. Now what's cool about this is when you go to compose an email, I can change who it's from. So I can put this one from Mike at MikeJBarnes.com. Now you notice my Mike at SEO Alien has a signature to it. So I can change the signature to, to any one of my emails. Well, how do you do that? Well, you go to general in your settings. Remember in the gear, you go to settings. And then across the top, you're going to see general. You go to general and then slide down the page, and you're going to see where you can create different signatures for your different accounts. So I can choose the new one that I created. It's, uh, I'm going to refresh this page because I know it's in here. Let's go back to inbox. Let's go to settings. And now let's go to general. I should have that new email in here. There it is right there. Mike at Mike J. Barnes. And now I can create my own signature and change it uh, any way that I like for the uh, for the signature of that of that email. Now when I go to compose, of course you want to save that, save changes at the bottom of the page. But now 
when you go to compose an email, you can uh, send it from any one of the different uh, addresses that you'd like to send it from. So we'll just go to Mike J. Barnes right here. We're going to send a test to, um, let's send this to Mike at SEOalien.com. And we'll just put test in here. We'll put test in here. And we click send. And then I'm going to go to my inbox. I'm going to discard those changes. That would be my signature. And there's there's the uh, well, there's the one that I just got. That's the that's the, it's checked my email already, so I know it's in there. And there's my test that just came in right here. So this test came in from Mike at Mike J Barnes. Now, if I'd like to reply to that, I can reply to that. And I can reply again. There's a little drop-down menu here, and I can choose to reply from different uh, different email addresses. So if I want to reply from Mike at SEO Alien, I can. I can reply from Mike at Mike J Barnes. So that's how you do it. Hope that helps. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment uh, below, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions for you.